originally in Spanish, between 2019-2021. Question from the follower. How is it possible that Digetans can live in a star system as young as the Pleiades? How can we survive the radiation from a big, hot, blue star and be physical beings, say, an Era or Temur? The seven main stars of Pleiades are hot, blue, white, O-type stars. Our scientists point out that no one could live there. Everything in the material world outside of the 3D matrix of Earth is in what is referred as to 5D density and vibration of matter. This means that if you have a frequency range of 0 Hz, 10 Hz, 20 Hz, 30 Hz, 40 Hz, to 50 Hz, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from your frequency range, you can only perceive between 30 and 40 Hz of the frequency spectrum rendering 5D 145, for example, invisible from your point of view, as 5 contains 3, but 3 does not contain 5. Their data and timing are completely incorrect, as they cannot date anything outside of 3D, as time does not work the same way in 5D. The data on Earth is simply incorrect, and their scientific arguments are also invalid, simplistic, and lacking in information. Like the blue zero type stars, is just what you see from there with a 3D filter on. Life in M45 is in another density, not Earth's. You can't see it. You can only see it as a small part of the 5D spectrum of stars. We have noticed it too. For example, Taigeta Tau 19a is to us a nice, soft, smooth yellow sun. And Sadie Clea Tau 19b is a nice white dwarf star. I'm trying to be scientific here, to form some understandable view from Earth. But essentially, their data on M45 is completely incorrect and incomplete. Evidence of their general lack of understanding about the workings of the entire universe they're still trapped in Newtonian physics and Einstein's relativity. From conversation with Svaru of Era. What is there specifically about the term Pleiaren? What does it mean? I am aware that many people say that we come from another star cluster behind the Pleiades as Earth science states that the Pleiades in general is too young a system to have any life in it. We do not recognize any such other star cluster. It's just us. The Pleiades in general, as you know, is made of thousands of stars, but we only recognize nine stars. It's a question of density and frequency. If you live at number 5 in your radio dial, that means that number 5 has within it numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, but not 6 and on. So people looking at the Pleiades from a 3D point of view can only see the parts of the star cluster that reach on to level 3 and they are blind to levels 4 and 5. Another problem they do not understand. Time is not a constant. The concept of young and old does not apply. Time is completely relative. And all the quantum physics and Einstein relativity mathematics, curved space, string theory, unified field, all that is plain and simple garbage mathematics that tends to develop self-sustained models that do not reflect the outside objective world. Tesla was well aware of this. May 2023 Those who say this, that the Pleiades are too young, 
base themselves on only one thing that is very false, which is that time is a constant. They have no way of telling or calculating how old something that is at that distant from Earth is. The ages of stellar objects cannot be calculated as humans say. Time is not a constant, and human science itself has proven it. As Mari says in her videos, they contradict themselves. It is a constant only when it suits them. Besides, life does not evolve as you are told over millions of years. That's not how biology or time works. And furthermore, all M45 is the result of migrations. Direct reason why they claim that what human science says is false. From the point of view of frequencies, saying that from 3D you can't appreciate what exists in 5D is valid. The problem with this is that it is said from an antiquated perspective and not as complete as we understand it today. What we see today is that there are no densities. 3D or 5D is a perception, nothing more, so it depends on the observer. Therefore, NASA and Harvard engineers will not be able to see all that is in 5D in the Pleiades. But Pleiadian powerful star seeds in Sedona, Arizona, looking at the stars at night in winter, so that the Pleiades can be seen in the northern hemisphere, will be able to see and perceive the 5D of the Pleiades. Am I making myself clear? Scientists on Earth analyze data from a spectrometer that, depending on a wavelength they receive from the target, Venus for example, can determine what chemical compounds it holds, for instance, sulfuric acid in the clouds of Venus. For example, through a good telescope, Venus will only look like a ball of clouds. But scientists will see sulfuric acid, and the awakened ones will see cumulus nimbus filled with rainwater of a paradise place. It is a matter of perception. Yes, there is spectroscopic data, but that data is altered as the beam of light passes through space, causing a wavelength slip. And spectrometers are notoriously inaccurate, especially human ones, and they are only good at what is immediately in front of them. They forget to contemplate the fact that space is not a vacuum as they tell you, but is a high vibrational fluid. It distorts the spectrometer readings. The problem is that from Earth you can only see what you know you can see. Whether with telescopes or not, same thing. The only thing that differs is the interpretation of what you see. And they don't take into account the temporal slip either. For example, Billy Mayer claimed that his Tigetan friends did not come from the Pleiades, but from another constellation that is just behind, and that is why it is not seen, which is the Pleiaran constellation. For me, that is just an excuse for not being able to explain that the science says that the Pleiades are too young to host life. Time does not work like that. It is not linear, nor is it the same time. Values change, and change a lot. <laughs> 